Hey, how's it going, everybody? Uh, Nazar here. You can call me Naz. It's another nostalgic reviews. Look at this thing. Uh, there's been a long story about this. I'll tell you all about it as I'm opening this. But today, we're finally getting this 143rd scale freaking Mach 1 Ford Mustang from 2021. I got to see this thing at the uh, Philadelphia... Um, I guess international auto show uh, got to take a bunch of photos with it hopefully I'll be able to find some of them for you guys oh sorry about that um, but yeah um, this thing uh, has been out for quite a while obviously this is from Hot Wheels premium um, metal metal real riders so we have rubber tires and all that good stuff it's basically a premium uh, Hot Wheels only 143rd scale not 164 scale but um, when I saw this at the auto show I was in love with the paint job I was in love with what it is uh, it was kind of neat so uh, we're gonna definitely open this up uh, definitely get it out of this glossy um, thing and have a look at everything and then we're going to uh, compare it to this thing. This is also one uh, 43rd scale. This is also a Mustang, but this one's 1969. Uh, similar color paint. This one is a pullback speeder. Also from Hot Wheels, obviously. It is all metal, so it's also metal. And the price difference is very different. This one is 25 bucks. This one is 7 bucks. This one basically is going for the same price as a premium Hot Wheel. And it has opening parts. And it's a pullback so it has a mechanism in the back. And I already reviewed this thing. And uh, it's very good quality. So we'll take this out as well. Compare them side by side. And uh, have a little bit of a discussion or whatnot. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm still having a bit of a buyer's remorse because 25 bucks, man, that is, <laughs> uh, for 143rd scale, that's quite a bit. So I, I'm definitely excited about opening this up and having a look at it. So, uh, let's, uh, let's get that going, guys. All right. So first and foremost, let's get it out of this, um, protector, which, uh, wow, um, uh, I'll bet you that adds about five bucks <laughs> to the total that I paid for this freaking thing. <clears throat> Alright, let's get it out. Just kind of cool, you know? Oh! So you need this protector in order... Like, I can just re-put this back in here. I did not know that, guys. Oh, wow. So, okay, let me just be careful here. Okay. So, wow. They're all just separate pieces. Excuse me. So here's your Hot Wheels protector. This huge thing right here. That's one thing. <clears throat> yeah, let's put that over here. God, there's like no room for it. Then you have this big old card, which, uh, you know, it's fairly nice. Let's, uh, let's get that a little bit darker here. All right. So, really love the artwork, obviously. That's really cool. 143rd scale. Uh, let's see, what do we have back here? So, yeah, this came out with the Wrangler. Uh, most of you who are collectors, you see these constantly on pegs. They're basically peg warmers. Um, both of these cars. Uh, I don't know why they're just not releasing any other models, I guess, for now. Um, but I think everybody's sleeping on these because... 25 bucks is uh, a little too much, man. Um, like, I still have a bit of buyer's remorse, but we'll see after we uh, check this thing out. So, um, anyway, so there you go. That's the wave of this one. So we can put that away. <clears throat> okay, now we have the inside part. You know, honestly, I thought it was going to be like the premium car inside of a protector. But straight up, all you do is just cut off those things and this thing pops right out. Okay. Oh, that is heavy, man. Alright, let's put that back. 
that's kind of cool that you can just put everything back inside and it stays in that protector basically and uh you don't ruin anything i guess that's kind of cool you know um that's all right <clears throat> sorry i'm just still being very uh uh, I guess, expecting the worst or whatever. Ugh. Okay, so here we go, man. Um, so, first, first impression of just looking at this with you guys, really. I straight up opened this up right in front of you and did not look at this before. I'm trying to kind of peek across, I mean, around the camera over here. Um, you know, I was expecting this to be a lot more cheaply, cheaper made, I guess. So those are not rubber. Those are plastic. That's a huge plus. Ooh, look at the... Wow. Okay, let's flip that around. Look at that detail right there. So <laughs> definitely metal base. That is metal base with some beautiful rivets right there. Uh, rubber tires, obviously, like it says on the thing. Then you have all your detail here. Which looks like a separate piece. Yeah, that's a separate piece. All these uh, exhaust and suspension and the motor, the transmission, uh, exhaust pipes back here. That's all a separate little skeleton piece. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> Buyer's remorse slowly fading. 2021 Ford Mustang Mach 1. Okay. The wheels are cool. Let me see. Is there? Yeah. Um, so let's uh, let's zoom in a little. So if you notice, there is disc brake and caliper back there. And in the front as well. You know, that's, um, okay, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I couldn't really see that in the packaging because it was way too glary. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. Uh, still, 25 bucks is, like, gnawing at me. Because for 25 bucks, you can get a Kaido House 164K uh, scale. You know what I mean? <laughs> But, and this is one, one, uh, 43rd scale. Okay, anyway, I'm not complaining. Okay, I'm not complaining about the quality. Uh, there's no glass here, so it's open window setup. I'm not complaining about the quality. This is beautiful. I really dig this. And the paint job and everything, they definitely nailed it. Look at the little vent holes right there. Yeah, what I'm bitching about is the $25 price. Um, I don't know. I guess if you really think about it, uh, I guess it's worth it. So you have your translucent uh, red dyed taillights. Ford license plate it says Mach 1 right there. Uh, we have a... I'm not, I, mm, I'm thinking if that's plastic or metal. I think it's plastic. It doesn't feel cold. So it's probably the same as the rear mirrors. The rims are cool. They're very nicely detailed. Like, look at that. Nice dimension to them and everything. But I would have to say I I wish they went with something more traditional, more muscle car-y, maybe five spoke or you know the um uh 10 spoke maybe even. Okay, so front headlights are fantastic. I like how they made the I guess the peg itself, they kind of painted black over that. To kind of hide that and it works look at that definitely works a lot of detail in there behind the uh 
translucent dome. Ooh, that kind of moves a little when I touched it. Interesting. Little wibbly wobbly, timey wimey. Okay, that's all metal down here. That's awesome, part of the base. The horse is as it should be, very nicely pronounced. Looks great. Look at this, the front profile is nice. Okay, we have to be over here. All right, so Mach 1. So yeah, I talked about this to my buddy um, Brian from uh, the Die Castle. <clears throat> we were talking about these uh, when um, we were both talking about the uh, Dark Horse. And uh, to be honest with you, uh, like, I was trying to find one of these in 124 scale so that I could, um, so I don't have to keep buying 143rd scale. I was trying to avoid buying this scale. Like, you can only have so many scales. I tried to stick to 164, uh, a little bit of 118, because I have those from my childhood, and 124, but that's mostly 95% are Fast and the Furious, and they're just hanging there on the wall. And uh, then I also have another Mustang from uh, a friend of mine, uh, that big old fluffy monkey shiner, Cameron. <laughs> and I have the uh, Dark Horse Mustang as well, in 124 scale. And uh, other than that, everything is 164 scale. <clears throat> and recently I have bought these. And uh, because I just fell in love with this Mustang so much, I'll take this out in one second. Um, I ended up buying this, and uh, this thing is legit, man. It's really heavy. Like, if you buy this and then you take it out of that package, which is kind of interesting, I, I kind of like the package because I like the fact that you can uh, put stuff back in there, you know? Like, look at this. It's all self-sustained. You don't have to throw any plastic out. You don't have to cut anything open other than these uh, four seals on the on the edges. And like, I can put it back in here at any any time and just display it on the wall, hang it on the wall or whatever. I'm very impressed with this. I like this. It's just $25. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Tell me, am I like blowing the $25 out of proportion? Because I almost feel like a lot of collectors uh, have not been picking this up because of the $25. So let me know down in the comments. But anyway, let's... um. Let's open up. That that thing is cool, man. Um, I do recommend this. If you can afford this, and 25 bucks ain't no thing to you. It is a thing to me, but I, I, <laughs> I just had to. Um, so yeah, if, if it's something you can allow yourself to uh, pick up, I'm going to say uh, go for it. All right, this always... Uh, come on, let it go. Let it go. Oh my god. Okay, so I recently did um, a review on this bad boy. Okay, where, where are you? Oh my god, there's no, nothing to grab a hold of. Welcome to Nostalgic Reviews. This is how we do things, guys. By the way, I love this logo. Something about this logo that just takes me back. Like, I, li I like it. It's really cool. I want a big old poster with that logo on there. <laughs> and I only have three uh, the pullback speeders I reviewed every single one of them I have uh, the Machini Veloce because I love Dima um, Dmitry Shachmatov he's a Ukrainian designer that uh, designs cars for Mattel for Hot Wheels I think he's also the manager of the design team that's the Mustang right there and I got the Bone Shaker uh, I got this, but I returned that because I was kind of like, eh, I gotta pop the brakes on these. <laughs> these are toys after all. But uh, here we go. Uh, one more time. These come off kind of neat. They have this little key on the bottom. And it unlocks the car from the little keyhole right there. Okay. So here you go. Here's the, uh, the toy version. <laughs> this is for kids. This is all metal, guys. So, same as this. This is all metal, except uh, this also has a metal base and a lot of amazing detail. Uh, this has a plastic base. Um, this is a pullback. This is a pullback toy. So, that's 
that's what we're working with. Um, the only thing here is, see the wheels are all orange, but then again, ooh, excuse me, then again, these are all black, and these wheels are plastic. So honestly, if the rims were metal, like alloy or something, I would say 25 bucks, yeah. That, that makes sense for everything, because then it's like, oh yeah, look at that. But I mean, still, so I'm keeping this. I'm not returning that. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I did save the receipt and I was thinking about it, but I was like, I'll figure it out after the review. But anyway, so here's the uh, uh, the 69 Ford Mustang pullback from the uh, Hot Wheels uh, pullback speeders. So check check out the uh, the headlight detail. You have also you have uh, clear transparent blue tinted headlights. Then you have this black chrome situation. Look at that. The hood opens. Nothing opens. Okay, so nothing opens on this one. Look at that. Same scale. Of course, this is bigger. It's a muscle car, so it's going to be a little bit bigger in real life as well. So these are these are both one forty uh, third scale. Right? Yeah, one, four, three. So anyway, so let me just get this over with. So the engine is black chrome on plastic. Look at that. The detail is awesome. Then you have these two turbochargers sticking out there. Um, the same pretty much detail as in here, which is in here it's just all black plastic. And uh, in here it's all orange plastic. But also just as much nice detail in there. Uh, you have a little roll cage action there, and uh, I mean, in the back, granted, you can paint that, you know, yourself. It would be nice if they did it, but this is meant for kids, three and up, okay? This isn't meant for collectors, but look at it, okay? So, <laughs> this is what I'm kind of, like, thinking about, and so here's, that's what that sounds like. That's what that sounds like. So, a little more cheap, but this is a toy. <laughs> Again, this is a toy. Um, so, okay. So let's have a look at these. Let me zoom out a little bit. Well, not zoom out. I just needed to back up. So, uh, although I need to somehow, like, not have my freaking sausage fingers in the way. All right, so there you go. So both 143rd scale, okay, and uh, both are just beautiful, uh, roughly the same color. This one, uh, yeah, there's a little bit of a shade difference. This one has more of a green to it. I'm not sure how much the camera is picking up on that. But, um, yeah, so the 69 does feel like it's bigger, which it is, again, it has staggered wheels, again. You know, staggered, those of you that don't know, back is a little bigger, front is a little smaller. Um, but, so, I mean, th this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to do this little comparison. So, here are these two cars, 25 bucks, 7 bucks. Both metal. Yes, a lot more detail here. Rubber tires, metal base, it's not a toy, <laughs> it doesn't squeak and rattle, although, you know, kind of similar rattles a little bit. But both are awesome, and I'm going to display these together, like, uh, you know, next to each other on the shelf, because these are freaking cool together, man. Granted, I would, I might paint the interior black, you know, then do maybe an outline with uh, a little chrome pen action on the roll cage. Um, either do the wheels black or something else, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, Mach 1 is definitely way more detailed, way more a collectible thing. It's a premium, real rider, metal base, everything, you know. But uh, this is also metal, just no metal base. No real rider tires, you know, uh, no rear view mirrors, opening hood though. <laughs> um, so yeah, interesting, like, interesting to think about this comparison, guys. Like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> 
both are cool though let me know what you think um i really really enjoy hearing from you guys your thoughts your opinions definitely let me know uh what you think about these two things uh let me know if you picked one of these up let me know why you haven't picked one up if you haven't picked one up i would love to uh hear anything you have to say about this um yeah, I'm just a collector. I'm not like a reseller. I don't have a business that I'm, you know, promoting. I'm not asking for you from you for anything, anything from you <laughs> other than uh, uh, for auction for Ukraine stuff. But, you know, there's no obligation to any of that stuff. Uh, but uh, look at this. Let me uh, uh, let me get. Um, a Hot Wheels Premium 164 scale Mustang, and uh, also I'm gonna get the uh, Dark Horse Mustang from Jada, the 124 scale. Just a real quick, uh, we're pretty much done with all of this. I've said everything I need to say, so if you're sticking around, stick around for, this is basically the bonus as I like to do on this channel. So uh, let me show you those other things real quick. Cool, all right, so um, I got them. So uh, let's see. Here's uh, the little fun haver Mustang. 164, you know, nothing exciting here. But this is the same price as this, you know, seven bucks. So, um, metal base, rubber tires, you know. Here's the scale difference 164 to 143rd. And. <laughs> Let's see, how do I hold these? Okay. Uh, no, I think I need to put this down here. Put that in here. And here is <laughs> the dark horse. Here's uh, 124. So 164, 143rd, and 124. So dark horse, Mach 1, and the fun haver right there. So that dark horse is nice, right? Look at that. The reviews up on my channel just look it up but so here's those let's uh lower that down like that so let's do this put that there um this is the mini gt 164 scale so this is about um you know 15 to 20 bucks Oh, this is the Shmi, so this is about 20 to 30 bucks. So, as you can see, <laughs> you know, uh, so the same price for these. And like I was saying, these wheels, I think that would maybe look better on there. But anyway, alright, so there's the Shmi, and here is the Borla Super Treasure Hunt. These go for about 30 bucks. So my point my, my point being, you know, um, you can still pick one of these up probably for like 10 bucks maybe, loose especially. My point being is this is 25. This 124 scale right here. Let me, uh, geez, that's... Sorry, guys. I accidentally turned the phone off. I had to lower the uh, ISO here. Um, you can see this has like a pearl white. Very beautiful. This is 124, right? So 124 scale, it's huge. It has detail. It has an opening hood, engine, opening doors, right? Uh, rubber tires. So that I hang my stuff on the wall, so that's why that's there. Uh, you know, all of the plastic translucent headlights rear lights all of those good things and uh this goes for about 12 12 to 14 dollars right for one of these 124 scale so 13 bucks 30 bucks 30 bucks 10 bucks <laughs> you know uh you can also get a mainline for two dollars you know of uh, hot wheels and 25 bucks so that's my point so do with all that information uh do with that what you will um also wanted to compare this one real quick so 
this one is I assume by the same designer that designed this uh, freaking com uh, custom 68 Camaro right here as you can see the design elements are very similar and we need to now brighten this up <laughs> sorry that white car is really hard to uh, expose for so look at this see the rear uh, fender right here the same the rear part right here is the same uh, engine stuff has like similar situation going uh, but yeah definitely very similar stuff right there and uh, this is uh, my favorite casting from 2023 I really love this Camaro it's just the only thing I have to compare for this but seven bucks uh, this is 150 this is just the main line which is awesome but yeah they also have these uh, Japanese uh, style things happening here same thing as on this car uh, I don't know who the designer of this is so if someone knows please uh, leave a comment down below let us all know educate us um, I don't remember who's the designer of this car if it's Dima man I'm gonna cry <laughs> but anyway I assume it's the same designer these are pretty much obviously calling card of the same person all right so there you go so <laughs> There you go, head to head, both Hot Wheels, 143rd scale, and, uh, <clears throat> you know, toy, pullback, opening hood. This one's just awesome. Everything's cool. I would say, like, 15 bucks would be fair for that, to be honest with you. Um, just, I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's move these aside. Dark Horse is really cool, by the way. I recommend that. That's by Jada. Jada, whatever. So, um, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, just uh, wanted to really do this uh, little unboxing of this beautiful Mach 1. Again, I love this. I think this is awesome. It's beautiful. I love this little paint scheme they have going. The orange, black, and like uh, purpley gray. Um the detail is amazing like i love all of this how that's done the rubber tires um this is really cool and i'm happy to have this in my collection i just have to not get any more 143rd scale oh my god you guys those of you that watch me regularly you know my struggle is real man. it's so hard but i i love collecting i love stuff like this i love cars uh and yeah uh this thing's just cool. I, I do recommend this. If you can afford this, buy it. You won't regret it. Once you get it out of that package, which you can put right back in there, again, <laughs> it's very easy. Uh, this is really cool. It's very heavy. Very, like, legit. Like, this is a collectible, collector-grade car. For sure. Uh, it's just 143rd, man. Such a weird freaking scale. I don't know why. Uh, but anyway... So yeah, um, so there you go. That that was our little comparison and review uh, between these two puppies right here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to call that a review. So with all of that said, just wanted to leave you off with this. Um, remember, treat each other right. Be good to each other. Collect what you like. Only what you like doesn't matter what anyone else thinks, what anyone else collects. If you think it's cool, get it, enjoy it, display it, look at it. And most importantly, guys, own your collection. Don't let it own you. That's all. Enjoy this. This is for you, you know? You own that. <laughs> Peace. Grah.